I sold my game Spider Doll. Last year I made a Spider Man fan game and it was actually way more successful than I even dared to dream. In this old video of mine, I showed how I earned 2700 euros after just one month. But how has this changed after one year? On Android, 226,000 people have downloaded the game and purchased in app items for a total of 3800 euros. Sadly, I haven't saved the data for Apple, but it was about 60% of the Android revenue. Therefore, 120,000 downloads and 2,000 euros in sales. With the advertisement, I earned a total of 780 euros with Unity ads and 520 euros with Google ads. Interesting side note, look at this huge spike before Christmas. Lol. Furthermore, you could play the browser version of the games on crazygames.com. On this website, 1.5 million people played the game over 4 million times. Crazy numbers. This earned me an additional 3,400 euros. All in all, my revenue from Spider Doll after one year is about 10,500 euros. Not bad for a game I didn't expect to earn me anything. Once you have a successful game online, you will get a bunch of very weird offers. People who want to sell advertisement for your game. People who want to test your game for money. A little bit late, huh? People who want to sell you great five star reviews. Buzki Nozga Spider Doll Buzkis Vodka. Uh, I don't speak Russian. And then there are weird companies like AppleDeal who want you to use their accelerator app for a lot of profit. Please note the cute little rocket in the email subject and oh wow, Spiderdoll has already 1,362 downloads. Don't ask where this number is coming from. At this point in time, we already reached 50,000 downloads. One week later, I got a new mail, but this time Spiderdoll already has 10,000 downloads. Nice! But since I never answered to Ilga, I got a new message by Mark. And a follow-up. I mean, I might have missed the first one. Okay, one last time. Oh no, I need to register to the end of April to be part of their program. And I got this message twice. What a respectable company. Other interested parties were publishers who wanted to partner up to hit the top charts together. Sounds awesome, let's have a look at all the great games that they published to conquer the App Store. The website looks very professional and here we have their best games. Oh, 5000 downloads? Hmm. Well, that, that's not a top charts game, isn't it? But hey, I probably just picked the wrong one. <laughs> this game looks promising, I bet it got millions of- and I got a lot of those one-sided requests. But this message is my favorite. Another Mark, oh yeah, they all called Mark told me that one of his clients wanted to buy Spider Doll. And he assured that his client is willing to pay a good price. Yeah, no. I never thought about selling Spider Doll, and I didn't plan to do it. But all of the sudden, Crazy Games was like, Shh, hey, nice game you made there. I want this. And I was like, uh, okay, what do I get? $5,000. <laughs> 15,000 euros. <gasps> $10,000? Nah, let's say 12.5K and we have a deal. Okay. And all of a sudden, Spider Doll isn't mine anymore, but I earned a bunch of money. And that's pretty awesome. And this money allows me to pay for fancy stuff like rent, rent electricity, electricity bills, bills, and groceries. groceries. Being an adult sucks, but this allows me to focus on my new game without worrying to starve or get homeless. And who knows, crazy games might continue the development of Spider Doll. I don't think so. But they will probably make way more advertisement for the game than I could do. And if a lot of people find the game, play it, and have fun, I would call it a win for me. In the end, earning 23,000 euros with a mobile game is a huge success for me. What do you think? Would you also sell the game? Write down in the comment and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see how my next game turns out. 